In this video presentation, we're going to start our look at the OSI model by looking at layer 1 of the OSI. And this is the physical layer. The physical layer deals with the physical characteristics of the transmission medium. Now physical is something you can touch, such as the wire, the connectors, the RJ45, the BNC, the NIC card. It defines the electrical, mechanical, procedural, and functional specifications for activating, maintaining, and deactivating the physical link between end systems. Such characteristics as voltage levels, timing of voltage changes, physical data rates, maximum transmission distances, physical connectors, and other similar attributes are defined by physical layer specifications. So as the information travels from one machine to another one, it hits the medium by way of the physical layer. Now it leaves the physical layer of one machine. It exits the NIC card. It hits the wire. It travels across the wire. It comes up, hits the interface of the next machine. So as data arrives at the host through the physical layer and travels up through the successive layers as necessary for the arriving data to be processed. And it's processed and it goes from being zeros and ones, bits and bytes, to human language, where it is, it is actually presented to you on the desktop in some form that you, a human, can understand. So the physical layer of the OSI model defines the medium upon which data is sent and the devices that operate at this layer. The primary device that operates at the physical layer is a repeater. Data packets arrive on the wire and are picked up by the network interface NIC card of the host computer. The NIC is the interface between the horizontal cabling and the host computer. So in our next video, we're going to be taking a look at what happens to this information once it comes up from the physical layer into the next layer, which is the data link layer.